Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this new seminar of policies and practices. Today's session is uh, called Responses to the Inflation Crisis in Europe, Securing the Food Budget to Safeguard Citizens' Purchasing Power. We've seen food insecurity increase by a factor of five across Europe. And obesity is also growing among low-income groups. A lot of the solutions I'm seeing are not coming from Europe, they're coming from South America, where we're seeing civil society and public-private partnerships emerge to tackle this crisis. Four in ten consumers in Europe have experienced a decrease in their household income because of the pandemic. And this has led to 38% planning to reduce their spending over the next couple of months. And food is key for that because food's what we call the elastic item in the budget. So people cut down on food because they can't cut down on other outgoings in their family budget. The most vulnerable uh, parts of uh, the citizenship are being uh, left behind or excluded and their needs are not being targeted. What could governments put in place to prevent food insecurity? What do you think if we project ourselves if, like in, in a long-term war? I have the example of food vouchers for, for vulnerable citizens in Romania. These citizens will receive a, a voucher for 50 euro every couple of months in order to cover their food costs. So it really shows a very rare example of a more targeted measure in our database that targets not only uh, a specific item such as food, uh, but also a specific target such as uh, uh, more vulnerable citizens. Hospitality services are probably gonna to have to adapt to a new world with consumer trends and demands posted for uh, for the next session of policies and practices thank you again everyone and uh, speak to you soon